All right, let's do this one. So we have a B value, which is 15, and a C value, which is negative 54. All right, let's look at factors of negative 54 then. So I got 1 and negative 1. Well, 1 with negative 54 and negative 1 with positive 54. And, of course, if I added these two together, then I would get this one would be negative 53. This one would be a positive 53. Well, neither of those equal our B value, which is 15. So, moving on. I've got 2 and uh, 27, I think. So, we'll have two sets of this. One with the 2 negative, one with the 27 negative. When I add negative 2 and 27, I got uh, 25. And 2 plus negative 27 would be a negative 25. So neither of these are good. But 54 is divisible by 3. So we got 3, and what would that be? Uh, 18. That's what I got. 3 and 18 will make the 3 negative, then the 18. Let's go and add these two together. And this one is our positive 15, which is the B value. So I don't even have to do the next one. No need. Well, now it's going to bother me. It's negative 15. That's no good. All right, so here's what really has happened when we look at this, when we factor this out. So we've got uh, x squared, right? Oh, man. x squared. And the 15 actually has just been split up into two which are the two factors, right? We got uh, negative 3x, that's this factor, and then the 18 plus the 18x. You saw this when we checked the work on the last one, right? And then we got the minus 54. You see how we're just splitting up that middle term? Now we're factoring by grouping. So by grouping, what this means, and I think that we did this on the last problem, is we're going to factor the first two terms and then the second two. The first two, and then the third and the fourth. That sounds better. So on this first one, I've got an x squared minus 3x. And if I were factoring these out, I could factor an x out from both these. So I have x minus 3. And let's look at this third and the fourth term. That was an 18x minus 54. So if we look at this factor-wise, we've got 18x which would be 3 times 3 times 2 times x. And uh, 54, oh man, that's a 4. There we go. Which would be, what the heck would that be? 3 times 3 times 3 times 2. So our greatest common factor for this, 2 would be 3 and 3, and 2, which would be 18. So 3 times 3 times 2. The greatest common factor is 18. So factoring 18 out from both of these, and we've got, we had an x left over from the 18x. This was minus, and then we had a 3 left over from the 54. So rewriting this, the first one was x times x minus 3. And then we're going to add this to 18 times x minus 3, like this. Well, now we've got two terms, both of which have a factor of x minus 3. So I'll do this one in black so we can see it. So if I factor out an x minus 3 from both of these, then right here I've got the x left over and then plus the 18 right here. So you see how we kind of skip steps if we can memorize that factor stuff. Uh, we had the minus 3 and plus 18. That shows right here with x minus 3 and x plus 18. So that's factored. Now you should check this because you can by foiling this thing out. So, or just multiplying the two binomials.